Well, <clears throat> it's been a long time since I last been over here. But breaking out right now for some reason. That's over here is where I'm gonna be at. Well, I decided now I'm not gonna move over here. If I decide I'm gonna be building a tiny house behind Annie's house. <coughs> I'm gonna decide, I just decided I'd be building a tiny house at Nanny's. Almost thought of moving into those apartments too. Oh, I well, now we got more problems. Giant hornets and mosquitoes and green green plants are growing up. I think if the U.S. implemented restrictions in January, then almost many of these deaths and cases would have been prevented. I've really been trying not to focus on any of this stuff, but just what I want to say. <clears throat> if the government really implemented restrictions sooner, then they would have definitely been able to control this virus more easily. I'm still disappointed that they actually waited until mid-March, even though the virus first, was first reported in January. The virus came to Washington first time in January, but we didn't actually enforce any restrictions until mid-March. Alright, sorry, there's a bee. <laughs> okay, sorry, there was a bee. Stung, I don't want to get stung by a bee. Last July at Asbury, July 2019, I was swinging at Asbury, and a sweat bee stung me. It wasn't that bad. Sweat bees aren't that bad, but old bees are a bit worse. <clears throat> you gotta be careful with bees. <clears throat> 